So we're back in 69, and all should be well in this kingdom. You know, it's united under a king, and they are at peace, and they're preparing to go to war against another kingdom. So all is at peace. But of course, when I logged in, it had the announcement about the enemy elimination event coming up tomorrow in the Mightiest Governor. And I know how this kingdom liked to treat it with the rules for thee and not for me, where they could go after everybody in Zone 1. No questions asked. They weren't supposed to attack cities, but you know, that's only if someone actually listens when someone attacks a city. We've fallen victim to that over and over and over and over again, those of us in Zone 1. And of course, I'm recording from this new city that I made just in order to be part of this kingdom and see what it's about as we migrate away. So I decided to look in Kingdom Chat because that's where I've learned a lot about where the rules change around the elimination event. And I scrolled up a bit, and what do I start seeing? Your city was attacked. Wait a second, the elimination event isn't until tomorrow. What's going on? And it's HRB, one of the main alliances. Ah, but this name is very familiar. I have fallen victim. My whole alliance has fallen victim to him. In fact, he was one of the root people behind the Second War, if I remember. I just know that name very familiar. I hadn't seen it in a while. So I decide to start reading these reports, and what do I see? It's then zeroed the city that was attacked. Of course, 69K6, that has been a little bully alliance as well. They learned well from the big alliances. I have many stories to tell about how the medium alliances began to imitate the major big alliances, going after the smaller alliances. You know, bullies beget bullies. It's how it is. Victimize them long enough, and they'll learn how to victimize others in the same way. And I don't say that in a way that's meant to be demeaning towards true victims of bullies. But that is what the trend tends to be in the real world, and it's what the trend tends to be in Rise of Kingdoms as well. So what did he get for all of that? Yes, he zeroed him out. This is what this means. His hospitals are full. He has no more troops to fight. Whatever troops did not fill the hospital are dead. So this is a later report, but what did he get? 3.2 million in gold, and he lost nothing because by this battle, which is not the first, this was after many battles, he's no longer got any defenses to defend against. This is what it means by zeroing a city. Sure, he can rebuild, but this guy, wow, what a trip. So let's take a look at the next battles. Let's just quickly look through them. That looks like the same one. He's just sharing it, trying to get someone to pay attention. Will they? I can pretty much tell you, not really. They don't care. They say they do, they don't. Here he got 2.8 million. Still no loss of troops because the city has been zeroed, as they say in quotes. And here before that, he got gold, stone, and wood. So these are going in reverse order of what he received. That is clear. Now they share a coordinate where Dom was having his city. But look, it's no longer there. Why? Because that's what they do. They just teleport away. So let's see if anyone is responding. You eat in the alliance. Whatever that means. Maybe it means you're gathering in the Alliance. Some of these do not translate well, sadly. Here's a battle. This is showing the Dom Farmer being attacked. Yes, being attacked by Kadita. So it was a revenge. That's what it was. He used his military commanders to attack. Dam's farmer. So Dam decided to fight back. This is one of the reasons why I tell you not to use the same farmer name because evidently there's something going on between these two. You eat all my rations is the one whose city was zeroed. Farm as good as it is, my message was not read. The surrounding mines abound, you make no excuses. 
So evidently, these two were going at it for a while. Oh, he got a lot here, so this is even going it more in reverse. Look at all that he got there. So in other words, he was farming where the other guy did not want him to farm. Up by us, we had a mutual agreement. They could farm our land, we could farm their land as long as we zeroed out all of the resources, and we were doing just fine. Of course, their people were no longer near us as much. Um, I didn't realize at the time they were preparing to leave the, the area and migrate, which is fine, but um, we had had a war with them because of the actions of a few people, and I believe Dom was one of them. I will have to verify that later, so just take that with a grain of salt. So you can read through this. Who is against whom? I'm just trying to take my rise. I have enough photographic evidence as well as war reports. And the response back is, I also have evidence. You are arbitrarily in collecting resources. You can send a warning letter in advance if you're smart already, but you are silent. So in other words, there was messaging going back and forth before the attack. Check my message and the time. Am I attacking this? And then this Arius comes in. Why are they arguing? Why doesn't he read above? So evidently he was attacking his, his farming gatherers, but he says he only attacks within the Alliance, so he was already farming within the Alliance. So he must have sent a warning letter, do not farm in our Alliance, and then he decided to attack. And then he asks for his gold back. And now, we have another city attack. And this guy is being attacked for all of these resources by this baby batter. And this baby batter is from the main alliance. So is he going rogue? Or is there something else going on that he has the right to go after this guy? I have no idea who this guy is because I have not been following Kingdom Chat ever since we decided to leave. I only go on when I feel like there's information that I need. Is this just sharing it again? Yes, that's just sharing it again. Oh no, that's another one. So this is more resources that he, he lost. It's just the numbers were very similar. Or is it the same? It may be the same. But we won't bother to look. You can rewind if you want to know. Because you don't get a response when you post things in Kingdom Chat. So he says, please tell me the reason why. It says, NV98 need to stop giving 69 SP a hard time. Plenty of alliances to accept you here. I do not know why he's saying this, but this is another one of the new main alliances. It looks like HRBI, but I think that's a little L, because HRBI disbanded and left. Please bring only, okay, that's about Guardians. And what does he say back to that response? He's saying, what do I do with the 69S that they keep getting involved? This kingdom doesn't seem to have any laws, right? Yes, you're right. Big, deep, small, CM, they. I don't know how that translated. These translators on some of these languages is really bad. On the European, they're really good, but European's easy to translate. To English. So in other words, things are not going well in this kingdom, and this is this is normal, with the exception of when they get the stupid chat going back and forth with name calling and all that. And there used to be friendly chat. I haven't seen it in a while, but I haven't been. Um, haven't been following Kingdom Chat much, like I said, because I'm getting ready to migrate, but also because I've started that channel and I'm involved in that new alliance with or that new kingdom that's even worse than bullying. I mean, they're already w much worse than this one. It's going to be, wow, it's going to be bad there. Um, but here, of course, we did have the opportunity that we had some good alliances. Um, let me close that or hide that so that... Um,
So there's just a bunch of arguing going back and forth here. I don't know what the altercation was between NV98 and 69SP. Those alliance names are not familiar to me whatsoever. Um, they may be new because some new players did come in, and I think that's where the power came from into these bigger alliances is that these new players came from another kingdom. Maybe it was when they couldn't dominate. Maybe it was when they wanted to escape, like we want to escape this one. I do not know. All I know is that um, things are not well in this kingdom, and I don't think they'll be well anytime soon. Anytime you post anything to try to get someone to give you feedback, all you get is empty words or Wi-Fi or what's going on, and you know nothing, nothing from the so-called leaders. Um, there was a time when there was someone coming around going after our cities and our alliance or our gatherers, and then one of our cities was zeroed. And um, nothing was done. He was in HRBE at the time, and I contacted the leader at the time, and he um, he kicked him out, and then he said he'd pay us back the resources, but then he got demoted. So I have no idea how that was all handled. So then another smaller alliance that was kind of a feeder alliance to the larger alliance took him in, and then he kept doing it, and so he got booted from there. He just got booted after booted after booted after booted. And no one did anything. Absolutely nothing. I imagine he's still around, to be honest. Um, I should have paid attention to what his governor number was. At one point, I put an eight-hour rally on him just to keep track of him because he was uh, teleporting everywhere. And then he managed to join an alliance where he could get into the zone two. And, of course, there's nothing we could do about it. But he was attacking us in another alliance. The leader of the other alliance contacted the leaders of the so-called kingdom and was promised that the guy was going to be zeroed and nothing happened. And it's all empty talk and no rules, no laws, and no just rules of engagement. You know, you don't really need laws so much as rules of engagement that people will play on an equal ground and know what the rules are. They've never existed in here. They pretended to create them after the second elimination event, but they didn't apply them. And then they only applied to the weaker players who weren't doing the activities that they applied towards. I don't. To me, it's just the bully mentality in this game is just it's beyond belief. But it's not every kingdom. There are really good kingdoms out there. You just have to find them. And I would not stay in this kingdom if I were you. So anyways, I am uh, signing off on this one. Just wanted to give an overview of, of how things are going in this uh, kingdom of bullies. Um, I look forward to seeing how much they're able to rally enough fighters for uh, the KVKs, even though I'm not involved in KVK, nor do I intend to be ever. I just want to follow how the everything seems to crumble. Okay, signing off.